Sid and I are in the plains in Wyoming, and I think it's only like 3.30 or 4. I would have been looking for a place to sleep by 5, but I'm scared of the plains. And the reason is, is because the plains get powerful storms. And the reason I'm scared of the storms is because the storms have taught me to be <laughs> in the past. So out here, I always look for shelter if I can get it inside. There's the winds, there's regular storms, but there's crazy storms coming here where we've been there ain't nothing there ain't no good spots i mean you can sleep anywhere but if you get hit with a storm in the middle of the night so i'm paranoid so we're digging this place which is actually a place i stayed many years ago i have a vague memory of it so it's not really you know like a upper scale hotel i'll show it to you guys but first let me show you where we came in from okay now this here's a gate all right and the road's way over there and I don't know if you can see it right there is the gate we came in and we rode through this field walked it first of course and then came to our new home here which is a long abandoned trailer okay we only got a breeze so far Sid's not sure he's thinking I'm a lunatic he's just going along with it just to humor me right <laughs> you just trying to humor? Sid, Sid's not scared of the plane. Oh, you want to sleep out there on the out in the middle of nowhere? I love this place. This is this is, reminds me of home. Reminds you of home. So, anyways, we're gonna take a look at our new pad. Okay, this is it. I might as well take something in while I'm going. Let's take this. All right. Take my coffee. Ah, okay. How does it look compared to the last time you were here? Last time I was here, it wasn't in this bad a shape, of course. But I'm amazed that it's in that it's still even standing with the weather they get out here, because it's a cheap. Uh, that's pretty sketchy. It's a cheap trailer house, bedroom back there. Okay. And we got some. We're just going to use the living room here. Okay. That's going to be my bed. Last night's spot was really good. Nobody bothered us. Both of us slept really well. And I took it because I wanted to stay in the Black Hills right before we came out into Castle, what is it, Castle Rock? That name of that town, or Newcastle. And uh, before we got into the plains, because the plains scare me. So, just the weather. Most of, most of the storms are just okay. But I've been caught in shit that will fucking kill you out here before. And had to take refuge in places. And I cannot count the times. Well, maybe I could. There's Because there hasn't been tons of them. When I've gone to bed under a clear sky. And woke up in the middle of some torrential storm. You know. I've had it happen. I mean, it's going to happen. And as I get older, the more. Especially the older and the more I know about doing this. I go really make a lot of effort to try to stay out of those situations that really suck. Like when you're like, this is going to be a long night, you know. The plains can be tough, man, I think, for guys like me traveling with little money and camping everywhere. But uh, I've been watching for hours, and there ain't been really nothing. I found one spot I would have slept in. It was too early in the day. And so I'm just like, let's take this. I stayed here before. I know it works. So we're going we're gonna to set ourselves up. And I got movies. We're gonna probably, I'm sure we're going to watch another movie tonight. I got a bunch of plastic, too, we can put on this dirty floor. I got my big piece of plastic. Then we get set up and get our shoes off. You're just mad because I'm prepared and you're not? Is that what it is? No, I'm, I am prepared. I was prepared for you. Well, then how come you're complaining that I got a burrito, half a burrito, and you don't? you thought that I wouldn't be prepared and you pull one on me and I'd go hungry, but actually I was prepared and that upsets you a little bit. No, it's not. You were just complaining that I got a burrito and I didn't tell you we were going to sleep in an abandoned fucking trailer and that you weren't prepared and you didn't have enough food and all you got is peanut butter and you're just whining. So I have corn, peanut butter, a wrap, water and coffee gotta have the coffee no we ain't yeah, gonna now, start now you're my buddy now that i got the coffee <laughs> yeah it's true that is true but i've got a can of uh, pork and beans and i've got two cans of tuna fish you think of something to do with them they can go on the wraps mm -hmm. and well, uh i have one wrap left and so. i got my burrito and i got cereal and, and milk oh, i got cereal too yeah. i got cereal and milk did you got milk no i do I don't need you milk. better be nice to me stop with all this you know Bullshit. Yeah, this bullshit you keep giving. You gotta be nice now if you want my milk. 
That didn't sound right. Did it? You got to bring yourself into. A, I'm not giving him a huh. You got to bring yourself into a catechism of belief and understanding that you can penetrate anything in society through vitamin power and verbiage. Vitamin power and verbiage. Mm -hmm. You gonna teach me? <laughs> can I get a lesson on this? Yeah, it's just take, I mean, this has, take vitamins and bullshit a lot. That's what that means. <laughs> I don't have any vitamins. I think I got the bullshit thing going already. I'm I've pretty got, good. I've got extra vitamins. If you can bullshit, I'll supply the vitamins. You supply the bullshit. Uh, you, well, I can't. You have all the bullshit. <laughs> you got more of it than most anybody I know, except for maybe Corey. I've got the bullshit and the real shit. I haven't heard too much real shit. No. It's been mostly... I'm talking about this kind of shit. Oh, the real shit. Right. He cares. He... He got his toilet paper on top of his bike so he can advertise to everybody that he shits. And See? we got caught at the That he mark. shits in the woods. Anyways, whatever. Let's 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 talk about some different shit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> like I had enough of this conversation. No pun intended. Yeah, no pun. Yeah, no, I could even pun intended pun. So yeah, we're moving in. Of course, I had to get a uh, bigger grip for it after market because it wouldn't fit around. How <laughs> far you get? <laughs> He's talking about his motorcycle and his dick. <laughs> and I'm out here in the trailer with this fucking guy. Oh, shit. As we got a ghost. Oh, it's just a <laughs> He says that motorcycle has... Because that is a high-tech bike. You can go to the moon on that. But it's got a, it's got a feature that jerks you off, he's telling me. Yeah, but I had to get an aftermarket arm that fit around, but you know what. Oh, bigger, bigger aftermarket one? I had to get it from Dennis Kirk. It's bullshit. He had to get the... He, they have make padding that goes in the original <laughs> one to make it fucking smaller. He's just stretching the truth here. Oh, man. oh my God. Oh, I'm going crazy. home, man. I can't listen to this Watch one. Your burrito. Grab my burrito. You got nothing in your hands, right? Let's go in. What's in my hands is on my hands. Ah, yeah, that's what's scary. All right. Oops. Home. Make sure it's clean before I set up. What are you talking about? I want you to clean it up a little bit before I set up. Then you can get over and take care of your camp. That's, you owe me that at least. Oh, uh, what do you want me to do? You want me to get the vacuum cleaner? Move the glass. Move the all the hundreds of piles of bird shit and rat shit. That's not glass. And when you get done with that, I'll be outside enjoying the smoke and, and walk, looking at the prairie. When you get your shoes off, I'll move it. Okay. But there, there's, here's the ticket is what we're going to do. It's we're going to cover the floor with plastic. A bunch. So that we can get in our pajamas and get relaxed, right? You Wait, see what I'm man, saying? I'm I, in my pajamas. Look, I got that big piece of plastic, but I don't want you stomping around in it in your boots because I don't know what you've been stepping in. Uh, a lot of pigeon shit. Yeah, now nah, that's rat shit, bro. <laughs> Fuck. Can't you tell the difference between pigeon shit and mouse shit? Uh, if I taste, Actually, if I taste it. Okay, I we'll check. Well, try that then. <laughs> but I think we got both anyway, so I don't think you even need to discern between one and the other. This is entertaining. <laughs> He's gonna get a head rush and fall over. Uh, you wanna hear that story? Yeah. Mm. That was a long time ago, man. And I'd met this girl. And we were right. We went up, rode out to Devil's Tower from Sturgis during the rally. You know, it's 100 degrees out, and we left. So I took a jack. I took jackets, of course. And on the way back, we ran into. I saw a wall cloud. For everybody who ain't seen a wall cloud, look it up. They cover the horizon, and they're full of electricity, and they churn. They're full of lightning, usually sheet lightning, but this one had the regular lightning that hits the ground. And I seen it in front of us, and I looked over, and I and I noted an abandoned gas station, an old gas station. And, uh, you know, with just a wire that you can unhook to get in there, kind of chain thing. And so we kept going, and as I seen we were going to hit it, I turned around. I pulled back into this gas station, and it had a roof that went out to the pumps. And so I pulled underneath that up against the front of the door, and the storm came in. And as the storm came in, began to really hit us, all these, dare I say, yuppies, pulled in. And park, I mean, they were, you know, the storm hit us pretty hard and they pulled in and they parked. And as it came in, I opened up the door, the door was unlocked and I walked in and everybody came into the house and it just, the gas station just had a plywood floor on it. And I closed the door and that storm came in. I never been in a storm like that before. If there's such a thing as a hurricane, it couldn't be any more than that storm was.
The wind was just pounding on us. There was fucking lightning bouncing off the ground. And these guys are walking back and forth. I'm sitting against the wall in the back with the girl. And there's another kid there who came in on a crotch rocket. And he's sitting next to her. And these guys are, are pacing across the room. Pacing, man. And they're looking out the window. And I'm just happy to have some shelter from this storm. And it got dark, right? And I reached over and turned on the light. And there was actually power. Light went on. And then one of the guys watching out the window, he turns around. He says, lightning just hit the driveway. And then, so we're sitting there. And, and, and I'm just like, you know, happy to have a place to be. I'm just like holding my breath, man. And then lightning hit something. And we had the wall socket that was for the light didn't have a cover on it. And sparks shot out of the socket. And our power went off. I probably turned on a flashlight or something. I don't remember. My camera was broken at this time, so I didn't get any pictures for this. And I remember that. This goes on for quite a while, man. And then it, it, you know, it gets later into the night. So when I look out the window, and there's a car sitting out front with just its flashing lights on, because you can't drive a car in one of those things. Everything stops when, a, when one of those storms hits. These storms out on the plains here, supposedly they get the most powerful storms on Earth. And I don't doubt that from the ones, the few that I've seen out here. I mean, I don't live out here, but anyway. And so, it's like the storm slowed down. And it's the middle of the night now. It was almost like being in the eye of a hurricane. And the kid from the, with the crotch rocket says to the girl next to me, she says, what's he going to do? And she asked me, he says, she says, he wants to know what you want to do. I look at him, I says, I'm staying right here. I ain't moving. Okay, because it was almost like the eye of the storm had mellowed out. And a few of these guys decided that they had to ride back. They had to get back to the room. These guys had short sleeve shirts because it was 100 degrees when we left. They didn't bring jackets. And it was now it's cold, right? And I told them, I says, you are making a mistake. This storm's not over. And they said, no, no, we got to get back to the room. And they left and that storm came right back in just howling. It's the only storm I've ever been in that pushed water into my saddlebags, into my trunk with it closed, and my and my bike was sitting under a roof. I was sitting on the against the wall, and I'm watching water come in under the door, which was a few steps up to the door. I'm watching it run in under the fucking door, man. And I, I mean, it was really intense. And these guys take off, and after they took off, that storm came right back in just as hard as it had ever been. They were out on that road; cars couldn't move. They're out there in a motorcycle. I don't know what the hell they did. And eventually. The storm subsided. And the kid and the other guys were like, well, we got to go. We got to get back to the room. And it was real cold now. And I'm like, all right, you guys have a fun ride because we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And they left. And the kid, the, the cross rocket kid, he says to me, what are you going to do? I says, I'm staying the night right here, man. I'm sleeping right here. He says, and I'm going to too. I says, all right. So I gave him my jacket to use for a blanket. We had brought a sleeping bag. I brought a sleeping bag because me and the girl was, you know, messing around here and there. I had a sleeping bag for just in case. And we slept in the other room, and in the morning, it was a beautiful day. And that kid came in, and he thanked me, and he gave me my jacket back, and then he took off and rode off. And that I wish I would have been able to get pictures of that one, you know. That was before all the video stuff. I've never seen a tornado in all my travels out here. And I haven't been in a hurricane, but that storm was at least the power of a hurricane. That one that I was in in the house with all the, all the yuppies. <laughs> They were really unprepared, and I was more prepared, but it was just very fortunate that we all had uh, that abandoned gas station to be in, you know. Okay, we're going to take a look at our habitat here now that we've got a movie theater going and we're hanging out, okay? This is what we've done with a fairly nasty abandoned room. And we're going to hang out and watch a movie. What do you think? You think this is God's country then? I think you can't look at this and think there's not something greater than us. Beautiful. <sighs>
This is the middle of nowhere out here. It does feel very free. Beautiful. To look at. Seemed like it would be a harsh place to live, man. Not not with the weather like this. Yeah, we got we no wind in Wyoming. That is bizarre. It's been the best I've ever seen. Yeah, it's really unusual. Gonna be hot down there, it looks like. It's hot here already. You look like you're ready to go searching for Cylons. For what? Cylons. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll keep going. Okay, it is morning in Wyoming and I'd say it's pretty early and last yesterday as we we're riding west towards Salt Lake on the interstate there's a big storm in front of us with a bunch of rain and so it's getting a little later in the afternoon so I pulled this off the road which Sid thought was a good idea he's like I like the way you think huh <laughs> and because it looked like it was heading straight at us we pulled in here and we ended up taking refuge in this place but as it turned out the storm turned went north and missed us but we stayed here anyway so I'm going to show you our illustrious accommodations and my wonderful traveling companion this is the place this is actually a small privately owned truck stop yeah but in the back it has oh a Scotty style accommodations <laughs> and we got Sid here having his morning coffee and um, this place I think it had some crazy cat person in it a long time ago because it looks like well there was cats living in it and somebody was feeding them but it really don't smell like cats so we cleaned out one room and I'll show it to you let's step inside you can see all the cat food cans everywhere but don't smell like cats in here and okay this was our bed and what we did was these are our beds that's why i said see can you find a room and he found one so that swept it out and this is it and if if you're germ paranoid if you're a big believer in germ theory um, you might not want to travel with me. Anyway, this is our com illustrious accommodations. And this is our view. <sighs> right outside. And we never got hit by that storm. And we got the sun coming up early morning. And nobody really seemed to care that we were here, obviously, because nobody said a thing. And we were going to hang out and drink coffee and then get moving on. Yeah, it's about 9 a.m. or 9.30 or something. We're wanting to go and that's our direction. And as you can see, there's a little bit of rain going over there. Yesterday we had a big old storm over there when we were coming in. That ain't nothing there, huh? And that's why we stopped. Thought it was gonna hit us, and it didn't. Now the reason that Sid and I were going to Salt Lake in the first place was that, well, he was going that way anyway. I think he had a friend he wanted to visit or something. And Vita was flying in from Europe and that was the only big airport that she could afford to fly into since she's, you know, not rich anyway. And I had promised her that if she came I would take her for a ride across southern Utah, which I believe is America's best kept secret. And so so Sid and I split up not long after this video and 
I met up with Vita and we spent some time camping outside of Salt Lake up in the mountains and the next video will reflect that it's just an interesting idea I came up with that one will be a little different and after that we took off on that ride across southern Utah and I think that series of videos is one of my personal favorites a lot of people like those and uh, I will see you next Saturday